Is there evidence for God? Actually, there's a lot of evidence for God. One of the most exciting things about following Jesus is you get to love God with your mind. That means you get to understand not only what you believe, but also why you believe it. And the more you grow in your faith in Jesus and your relationship with God, you're going to discover powerful evidence that points in the direction of God. I like to think about these in terms of signposts. Signposts that point to God's existence. We should expect this from Romans 1 and other places in the Bible that we can understand just by thinking about looking through what's been made that these things point in the direction of God. So the first thing you need to understand is that beginnings require beginners. The best scientific and philosophical evidence points to a beginning of the universe. And if time, space, matter, and energy began to exist at a finite point in the past, then you can't appeal to time, space, matter, and energy to bring themselves into existence, which points in the direction of a personal cause. Another signpost is the design argument. So looking at the fine-tuning of the universe and what is necessary even at a molecular level or electromagnetism or the cosmological constant or these other things that make this a life-permitting universe, the design argument is a powerful signpost that points to God. Another part of that is the information in DNA and biology, the origin of life, the existence of the soul that gives us freedom of the will and mind and consciousness, Mor moral arguments that talk about God's um, existence being the standard of right and wrong that objectively we would know. So again, there's a lot of signposts that point in the direction of God. You can have good reason why God exists. And the more you grow in your faith, the more you can trust that God has not only spoken, but wants to be known by you.